Come to Papa Moon. That's it. Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hello, and welcome to another Boss Fight Explained. Today, we're taking on Alluvium Mar, the Caretaker. He is the first boss in the Garden of Genesis, which is the first level 60 plus expedition here in New World. Phase 1 will begin as soon as you run into the room, and the tank should stand behind Marl during his animation, as he will jump around as soon as the fight starts. Hi there. I'm old Greg. Pleased to meet you. What you doing in my waters? Easy now, fuzzy little man Peach. Hmm? He will alternate between auto attacks and his first ability called Flex Slap. The tank can even position carefully to block this ability. Flex Slap will regularly target the furthest player from the boss, shooting his arms out and then dealing decent amount of damage while knocking them down. This is very difficult if you are a healer and if the tank manages to keep distance, especially when Marl jumps back, he may even become the target of that ability and able to block it from hitting other players. You ever drunk Baileys from a shoe? <laughs> what? You wanna come to a club where people wear on each other? When Alluvium Marl hits 66% health, he will enter phase two. You want to follow him to the center of the room and pop as many damage cooldowns as possible. Prepare your stuns for when his stamina bar appears, you'll want to break it as soon as possible. I'm out, Greg. If it is not broken within five seconds, the entire party will be wiped. Meanwhile, a thorn and root okay. wall will appear around the boss and last for 45 seconds okay. while adds spawn outside of it. This will repeat again at 33% health. Also, Alluvia Marl can summon a swarm of insects. I'm out, Greg. Alluvia Marl gains another ability called Muddy Grasp once the thorn wall raises. It will summon a shadowy skull and arms that jumps out of the floor repeatedly in a continuous line. It will deal a massive amount of damage and players must dodge or avoid this as it cannot be blocked or healed through. The boss will also cast Genesis Caps which are white mushrooms that will spawn for the rest of the fight and must be killed ASAP as they can explode and wipe the entire party. That's right, this fight has two party wipe mechanics. Oh, Good luck. Well, he's... I do watercolors. Let me show you something. After 45 seconds, the root wall will go down and players will need to deal with as many ads as possible. Once Marl hits 33% health, he will run to the center of the room again and raise another Got root him. wall. This time, Marl will cast a submerge ability and play peekaboo with the party members, in which he will dive under the ground and jump randomly out at players. This will also leave puddles of blight on the ground. Stay out of this as much as possible, and keep in mind that the DPS and tank can hit the boss while he is submerged. Finally, I'm once there. the second root wall ends, DPS should focus on adds, primarily shamans, followed by archers, and then prowlers and soldiers, which should group around the tank. Once adds are dealt with, the party should be able to finish off the boss in between rounds of peekaboo. The end of this fight can drag on. Just stick it. together and you should come out all right. Purple, you got a guy on you. That was our first date, hmm? You pulled me up with your strong arms. Oh dear, look, Greg, I don't know you. Oh, you know me. You seen my downstairs mix-up? Yeah, I didn't ask to see that, did I? What did it mean to you to see that? Did it mean you love me? No, it didn't. Could you learn to love me? No, I couldn't. I don't love you. You do love me. No, I don't. You do love me. No, I don't. You love me, and you've seen me, and you know me. I'm old Greg. Yeah, I know you are. You've told me 89 times now. You must love me exactly as I love you. You know what, Greg? Maybe I was being a bit hasty there uh, when I said I didn't love you. Perhaps now in this light with you and the tutu and the water playing off your seaweed, Maybe I could love you. Maybe I was lying because when you do love someone, sometimes you say you don't because you're playing hard to get, playing a game. Games? Yeah, I was just playing a game with you. Love games? That's right, love games, Greg. Love games? Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? I just wanna know what to do, cause I need your love a lot. I come on now, do you love me? 